All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can actually fix 1440p not supported into your 1440p monitor. So yesterday I posted a video how to get 1440p and 120Hz onto your uh, PS5 and a lot of people were commenting saying it's not working for them. So I'm gonna show you a fix. So as you can see right now, it says it's not supported. So the fix is gonna be pretty simple. So on the back side of your monitor, there's gonna be two HDMI ports. So if you're plugged into one, you have to switch the HDMI port. So let's say right now I'm not getting the 440p support and not even 120Hz. So I'm gonna change the HDMI port. So I have two HDMI on the back and I'm gonna switching into the PS5. You don't have to switch it on PS5. You're gonna have to switch it into your monitor. So, um, in simple words, let me just plug this in, then I'll tell you. All right, so now it's plugged in. So, in simple words, what you want to do is you want to have to test both of your ports into your monitor to see which one is working. So, for me, as you can see, the first one was not working, and I switched to HDMI 2 onto my monitor. And now it is 1440p. It just switched 1440p by itself. And also, it's also gonna be um, 120Hz, right? So it's not 120Hz, but when I start the game, Fortnite, it's gonna be 120Hz because uh, you're only gonna be getting 120Hz when you have the game running. Remember that. So, um, as you can see, it's on 120Hz. So, the fix is actually pretty simple. Make sure to check both of your ports onto your HD, uh, onto your monitor. So try both of your uh, HDMI ports into your monitor because there's always two HDMI ports. One supports 120Hz and 1440p and one does not. So you're gonna have to hook it up with the one that works. So I hope you guys find this very helpful. And uh, if you did, make sure to hit that thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.